Let's have a chat. It is rainy in 77 Fahrenheit today, and it is gorgeous. I really hope fall is coming early this year. Like, I wish and pray every day because it's already getting cooler than it has been. Come on, please. I feel like I am in my best mood during fall of the whole entire year, but the universe just wants to fuck me over in the fall. It's always been like, you know what? You actually can't have a great fall. Um, but this year, I'm trying to be positive that things are going to work out as they should because literally my last semester of college, I finished my degree at the end of this semester, um, I start school next week, then I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. So I literally have to figure it out within the next like month. Yeah, the next month. I can't say month or two. I need to figure it out now. Um... <laughs> It's fine, I'm fine, but I'm trying to be positive, you know? I, so I start school next week. I finished my photography degree for the most part. I just have to finish like other random extra credits and one credit for my um, art history minor. So I'm like, I feel like I should like get ready for back to school this week, but literally what is there to get ready for? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not taking any of like the intensive classes that I've had to in the past for my um, photography degree, so I, not to say like this semester is going to be easier or anything, but I don't know, it's art school, like, you know? <laughs> but right now I'm reading um, Foundry Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. Splatoon comes on at 2, so I'm going to read until then. Um, this is a high fantasy, epic adventure fantasy uh, adult. It's very good. It's quite enjoyable. Very unique world, very well constructed. It is very fast paced, but sometimes it'll like come to screeching halt and be like, Here's all of the things that I made up about this world. All the like very intricate science-y reasons behind the magic. And I'm like, look, I love world building. I don't mind when books come to a standstill for that. But sometimes I feel like, okay, you're showing off, bestie. We need to move it on. Everything in this world is happening so fast. So when by comparison, it comes to such like a halt for world building it's it's a little bit jarring but very good so far i'm reading physically i got this book secondhand that's why i look so beat up already um quite some time ago because i just loved the cover look at how pretty and the other two books i think it's a trilogy covers are so beautiful so yeah i'm excited to finally be reading this i'm also listening to it on audio when i can't be physically looking at the words so fun stuff i'm gonna continue reading that and hopefully finish it today but I also have to finish a arc that I have for the Rogue Crown by A.K. Mulford. I love freaking A.K. Mulford. She wrote The High Mountain Court and the second book is called The Witch's Blade and The Witch's Blade is <sighs> praise her for that book okay. So the third book is coming out in October and I got an arc of it and I read up to like 70% and then I started reading something else, got something in from the library or I just needed an audiobook to um, listen to while I was doing something else. So I need to get back to that and finish it because I was so excited for this book and now I just want to know what happens at the end. So um, it's a fantasy romance with some spice. I recommend. I also got my fairy loot today. I did not even know it was coming in. So let's unbox. I, I paid for this with my own money, okay? It's punctured, that's sad. Tell me lies. Well, it's punctured because there's literally a pin in here. Gilded pin. I think this is from that that Gilded series, which I'm very, I've read it, I've like skimmed through it. A little questionable. Why do so many people like that? But this is a very cute pin. I love a good enamel pin. I wanna get those like magnet back so you put them on the fridge because I never put pins on things. I'd rather put them on my fridge. Romeo and Juliet, ew, I hate Shakespeare. I live for the theory that Shakespeare wasn't real. These violent delights have violent ends. That's from Twilight, actually. These violent delights have violent ends. 
and in their triumph die. Cute. Oh damn. Oh damn, a whole tote bag. This is quite cute, but there are some books that I don't like on here. I think these are mostly like books that they've had in their um, box. Book I really don't like. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. I don't even know what this is, but it's already gorgeous. <gasps> wow. Uh, I'm missing an earring. <laughs> wow. It's a little jewelry box. Like, you can't see anything, but this is gorgeous. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that bookmark. I love these bookmarks that they have in here, like, with the gold foiling. <gasps> but I never use these because I'm always using my own bookmarks that I make um, at shop at katherinecaris.shop. Wow. 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 Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. 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 Is this a Romeo and Juliet retelling or something? That survives. I'm getting... <gasps> Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, yeah. Look at how ginormous this text is. That's how you know I've only been reading um, adult fantasy. Mm hmm Yep, wow, wow, wow. I love a map. Mm hmm Okay, that's Fairy Loot Box. I'll leave a link below because this box? This month was very good. Anyways, I'm gonna go be a hater on Shakespeare now. Bye. <laughs>
senpai just to tell you I hope that you understand why these things on my mind keep me up at night maybe you are the answer but lately So I just finished Foundry Side. Okay, it was I didn't just finish it. It was a couple hours ago. But I finished it. Very good. Very solid book. I go to 5 out of 5 stars. I want to say like 4.5 stars, but then there was nothing wrong with it. Like, I really enjoyed it. Sometimes I just... Giving 5 stars for a book that I'm like, wow, oh my god, it's my new favorite book ever. I'm just like, did it deserve 5 stars? Of course it did. It just... Not every 5 star book is going to be your favorite book of all time. It's fine. Um, but I really liked it. Uh, I would recommend it if you're very much into fantasy and you can handle a lot of world building. I don't know if I'll read the second book. I think I'll probably put it on the back burner. There are just other books that are more pressing to me. <laughs> Speaking of which, this morning I woke up very late, slept through my alarms, went on Instagram and saw that RF Kwong is in New York City and she was at Books of Ma Books Are Magic in Brooklyn and she had signed some editions of Babel because it came out today uh, which I guess I forgot yesterday when I said that the next book I'm going to read or like try to finish is The Rogue Crown. I don't know how I forgot that I that Babel was coming out today because I have written it in my planner multiple times. So what's going on up there? I was to say. Anyways, back to this morning, I look more and I see that she was at a Barnes and Noble and she was clearly at the Barnes and Noble in Union Square because that is the Barnes and Noble I frequent most often and so I called up Barnes and Noble and I was like do you have any signed editions of Babel and they were like yeah would you like us to hold one for you and I was like you know I really would so I quickly got dressed and got the train down and so I knew that my book was being held safely so I went upstairs because I was being hopeful that she had signed some of the Poppy War and she had <laughs> The Poppy War is one of my favorite books. It, it's the book that has traumatized me the most. Like, I'm very traumatized. But it is so good. Like, I've never been more traumatized by a book. But I, I love it so much. It's one of my favorite books of all time. I still have not read the second and third book because I'm still very traumatized. So, they had the first and second, first and third books signed. So I got Babel signed. It and I just started the audiobook and they're saying Babel because it's in British, which is not the vibes, lad. <laughs> but I know I'll get used to it in like a second. Um, I'm excited. I don't even know what this book's about. I just know that it's dark academia. It takes place at Oxford during like the 1800s. So it's like a uh, historical fiction. Is there magic in this? I don't know how long this book is going to take me. I don't know. We'll see. Fall is here, besties. Like, it is starting so beautifully. We have House of the Dragon, Babel. Next week, we have um, Lord of the Rings. We are thriving, okay? I'm so happy for us. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go read now. I have to choose a bookmark still, though. I put a poll on my Instagram. These are all from my shop, shop. But these are, like, my my favorite ones probably and the most like dark academia vibes to me but i literally have a bookmark called dark academia but these feel more dark academia than that one does to me so we'll see okay i'm excited i feel like i'm just very hyped because it's release day and i got a signed copy it's just okay <laughs> Sunlit days, nothing stays the same. Rise.
because I have to go pick up something for a friend. But yesterday I was feeling horrible. My back really hurt all day and I don't know why because I'm not even anywhere near, close near my period. So I don't know why. It was kind of rude. So um, today I woke up and I stretched immediately so that wouldn't happen again today. Maybe it was just the, I haven't been stretching enough recently. But anyways, because of all that yesterday, I didn't really, I didn't read because the night before I'd been reading late into the night and then afterwards I was just like, my brain <laughs> like i'm so tired like just fatigued in the brain this book babel this is babel i took off the cover i'm at page 129 um actually might be further because i was listening to the audio and i had put the book down but here are my impressions <laughs> that i wrote down she is way way too smart this woman arquan rebecca her mind like and that this is this must have been so odious to write because at certain times a passage will feel like an essay <laughs> which i thoroughly enjoy but also i'm like Girl, how do you like how do you even begin to outline i'm not a writer at all but i can imagine what the writing process for people are like and this and like jade city i just too much going on and then <laughs> my last point is that R.F. Kuang has such a knack for portraying horrible realities, which is to say, reality. Like at one point I even like almost started crying because it's not something I think that many people will feel very emotional about. But it's just like that like very sad sense of community with people that are like on the opposite sides of the world than you. But you can relate to each other because of the British Empire and colonization running rampant. So <laughs> it's really sad. It's so sad that this is why you can relate to these people. You know what I'm saying? So this book just... It... It... <sighs> Babble. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna take this and try to start getting back into it. Like, I, I'm kind of like, oh, time to like get my brain moving again. I know that, that more dead inside feelings are soon to come. So I <laughs> look forward to it.
Yeah, so I have finished Babel. Babel. Um, I can't believe I finished it. I felt like this was one of those books that I was just going to put off forever and then just get to like two years later or something. But I tabbed it. There's literally no like color coding it. It's just, I just grabbed for a tab and plopped it in there, but read it. You really should. You really need to. This book is so important. I didn't even know what this book was about before I read it, be besides that it's dark academia, but it's only really dark academia because of its setting, which is Oxford. Um, yeah, she is so smart. I seriously don't know what to say. I posted on my Instagram that I finished, I was reading it and that I finished it, and people are like, can't wait for your thoughts. Uh, girl, th this brain, there's nothing going on like that's my thought that's my brain that's what my brain is doing right now like this just has such important themes inside and literally you either relate to it and it'll be um a little sad for you or you're gonna learn some lessons that you should have been learning this whole time so the themes in here are exactly like what I do in my work as an artist, so I definitely recommend the audiobook because I'm sure it's, it'll be a little bit difficult to get through certain parts. Remember how earlier I said that some of this feels like an essay? Literally in the annotated bibliography, which I think is only for the Barnes & Noble edition, I don't know, I treat all my novels like dissertations. <gasps> That explains everything, Rebecca. Yeah, five out of five stars. <laughs> I'm so glad I read this. It's not like a genre that I would normally read. And from reading The Poppy War, I trust R.F. Kwong, so I was gonna read it regardless. So that's also why I didn't really wanna know what it was about So beforehand. So I'm not gonna tell you what it's about really, but it's just, yeah, I should read it. I'm just scrolling through the Goodreads um, page for this book. And somebody said, has shattered the standards of the dark academia genre bestie it really has because i was t talking to my friend about it she just started it i was saying how like the secret history and not to compare these two books uh but the secret history is almost like self-indulgent to read or like a guilty pleasure i hate that phrase i think it's so stupid the secret history is about like white people and white people problems my friend jenna brought up the fact that people critique donna tart for being full of herself and like writing like she's trying to prove that she's smart whereas rf kuang is just smart and she like doesn't have to like prove it at all it's like a telling versus showing i just love this woman like why is she so smart when did she have time to write this where did she learn all this stuff like <laughs> also the time period this is set in i'm very aware of i love history i study history but this is a part of history that i is a lot for a person like me to deal with so getting to confront it within a place of comfort for me which is fantasy and books um it this book is so special to me am i gonna cry <laughs> yeah this is great <laughs> yeah yeah it's great <laughs> read it as soon as you can it's not even that it's not even that long okay okay those are my thoughts on babble i'm glad i got a signed copy but i'm also <laughs> sad that i didn't get any of the special editions that i could have gotten because i'm dumb as i said on instagram rf kuang put her entire rf oc into this book like thanks for listening goodbye